Napping successfully, I think, also means paying attention to your body. So most people realize that you have a natural dip in the early afternoon, right around lunchtime. That's why siestas happen in other parts of the world, unfortunately not so much here. That's your body's natural time to take a little bit of a sleep. Now, a short nap, meaning 20, 30 minutes, can be very refreshing. Studies show that you function better after that. If you go too long, though, you develop something called sleep drive. So the longer you're asleep, the harder it is to wake up. So you might find, oh, you've got a great hour and a half nap, and then you're kind of groggy afterward, and it takes you a while to get back. So the other problem with a long nap, though, is it might start interfering with getting to sleep that night. So you sleep until 4 o'clock in the afternoon, bedtime comes 11 o'clock, guess what? You're not tired.